The Delta variant may be keeping us from a full return to the pre-pandemic days, but in-person live theater is finally returning to Bay Area stages, albeit with strict vaccination and testing protocols and strict masking requirements. Over at the Bruns Outdoor Amphitheater in Orinda, Cal Shakes, California Shakespeare Theater, is presenting Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale, a play not frequently seen and pretty much known for two distinct elements. Eric Ting, artistic director of Cal Shakes and co-adapter and director of this production. The first thing is that The Winter's Tale is the play about a statue. Hermione's statue at the end of the play. That might help ring a bell. The second thing is probably Shakespeare's most famous stage directions because he had so few of them. Exit Pursued by a Bear. This production opens on an empty circular stage ringed with majestic light poles, behind which at the opening are the gorgeous trees of the hills behind the amphitheater. The Winter's Tale focuses on the king of Sicilia. His name is Leontes. It becomes very, very clear very early on that Leontes is deeply jealous. And what happens very quickly in this play, he unspools into a kind of jealous paranoia. It's a Greek tragedy. You don't really realize this until you're in the middle of it, but it absolutely plays like a Greek tragedy. As the sky dims and the play takes tragic turns, the poles light up and the effect is utterly thrilling as the brilliant cast, led by the extraordinary Craig Marker as Leontes, takes us down a darker and darker path. And then it changes. What unfolds is what turns the play which in the first half is really a tragedy. It's what turns the play into a pastoral comedy. The Winter Tale's shift is always problematic, and here the transformation to slapstick comedy and modern musical snippets at times feels jarring. But the outstanding cast, led at this point by the talented Phil Wong, keeps things going until the final scenes, which are moving to the point of tears. It's a play that, in its own way, celebrates the return to normalcy, though not quite the normalcy expected when the play was chosen last spring. There's something about the notion that this narrative, this play, experiences this long winter, the darkness of the first half of the winter's tale, suddenly opening upon the lightness of the second half, felt like a very vivid invocation of what we wanted this moment to be in our world. It's a marvelous ensemble and a marvelous production and a wonderful way back to theater. The Winter's Tale by William Shakespeare, directed by Eric Ting, plays at Cal Shakes Bruns Amphitheater through October 2nd. For more information, you can go to calshakes.org. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.